Hello and welcome to Baki Gaming and this is the Sims 4 tutorial how to make a realistic custom pond with a nice waterfall. Some of you may have already seen my custom ponds with waterfalls in my non-transparent and mirror pool water videos or in my duck effects on my latest safari truck video. Multiple people asked me how I made those realistic looking ponds with those nice waterfalls so now I will show you. In this video when decorating the whole scene I'm going to use a couple of custom content pieces made by others and made by myself. Download and video links to those items can be found in the description below. Now let's start on an empty lot and by clicking the swimming pool tool. There are multiple different ways to make the shape of your pool but in this tutorial I'm only going to show you one. Click the second tool which is the custom swimming pool tool and draw your pool shape. If you're not happy with the shape, you can change it by clicking the pool and dragging the arrows in or out. After I got the shape how I want it to be, I'm going to add some rocks and plants, but before I will start doing that, I open the cheat bar by pressing Ctrl Shift C and type bb.moveobjectson into it. Then press Enter and Ctrl Shift C again to close the cheat bar. Now go to the rock section and search for the cliff rock right here. Enlarge it one time by pressing the closed bracket key and place it behind your pool. Now add some more rocks. Remember that when holding the Alt key you can place them off grid too. Now it's time to make it more natural using plants and trees. I often use grasses and plants like these. Try to use not too many different colors and choose colors that will fit nice next to each other. Place these plants in between or on your rocks and enlarge them if necessary. To place them on top of the rocks, press or hold the number 9 key to raise your object. If you raised it too high, use the 0 key to lower it again. Of course it looks nice when placing trees around your pool, but placing small trees on top of the rocks can look very nice too. Another thing I always add to my custom ponds are my animated water lilies. You can choose between 6 different lily colors and between animated or non-animated versions. The animated versions will show fish swimming and jumping around when going into lift mode. As I don't want too many fish in my pond, I will use both animated as non-animated versions. Now as it still looks more like a swimming pool instead of like a pond, you can do two things to solve this. The first thing is adding rocks and plants on the bottom of your pool so it will look like this. On the walls I added a brick wallpaper and on the floor I added my Finding Nemo sandy floor tiles which also contains floor tiles with things as seashells, sea stars and other things you find on the sea bottom on them. Another more easier way is to add my non-transparent or mirror pool water so you can't see the bottom anymore. It will also add a nice realistic reflection to the water. In this tutorial I'm going to use my non-transparent pool water. After changing the pool water, you won't see the fish swim anymore, but you can still see them jump out of the water. Before making a waterfall, I'm first going to add some terrain paint around my plants. I will use the darkest sand color for that, and I'm also adding another border to the pool as I don't like the white one. For making the waterfall, go to the fountain section and click the water drop. Now search this large fountain. To place it, we're going to hold Alt again for off-grid placement. Now place multiple fountains next to each other so we will end with something like this. If you're not happy with the outcome, you can press Ctrl Z to undo your steps and try again. Go into lift mode to see the result. Now it still doesn't look like a real waterfall yet, so we're going to add one more thing. We are going to use the effect player to give it a real waterfall effect. So type effect into your search bar to find it and then place at least two onto your lot. We are only going to use one for the waterfall, but we can use some other effects for our pond too and we need one extra to hide them all. After placing, go back into lift mode. Click one of the effect players and choose select effect. To add a waterfall effect, type waterfall underscore wb underscore vo underscore bottom into the effect bar. You can also find this code in the video description down below so you can copy paste it. After clicking OK, be sure you press the play button and a waterfall effect will appear. Go back into build mode and move it to the right spot where the water hits the water surface. Remember that you need to raise it so it will appear above the water surface. If you're not sure if you place the effect player on the right height, then go into lift mode, press the tap key and use the keys you see right now to move the camera around. Lower the camera until you hit the water surface. 
the effect player should be on that same height. As seeing an effect player on that spot isn't very nice, I'm going to show you how to hide it in a minute. But first, if you want to add some other effects too, like ducks that swim around, or birds sitting on a rock or walking around your pool, then please watch my effect player episodes that can be found at the end of this video and in the video description down below to see which codes you will have to use. Now as I told you, the last thing we need to do is hide the effect players. To do so, we're going to use that extra effect player. In lift mode, click it and choose the hide others option. All effect players will be hidden, but the effects will still work. You can delete this effect player now. If you want to show them all again, simply buy a new one, click it and choose the show all option. You've now made your very own realistic looking custom pond with waterfall. And you learned how to use effects to make things more realistic. I hope you all liked this tutorial and if you did be sure to hit the like button and share my video so more people will be able to find it. If you got any questions just leave them in the comments below. Don't want to miss any future tutorials, custom content videos or effect player episodes? Then please subscribe and hope to see you next time here on Backy Gaming.